Hello, guys. What a wonderful day to see all of you high manifestors here. How's everybody doing today? All right, so, uh, you know, we're doing this in real time, so let's do this. Let's elevate our minds and our consciousness and let's create our best best life possible, right? Let's um, let's do what we came here to do. I mean, what what are you here for? I mean, you're existing. So if you're here, you definitely have a purpose. I'll tell you one thing, you're not here to be struggling and just be going through the motions. I know that for a fact. And this is what this is all about. Teaching, expanding, and showing you what your capabilities, abilities are moving forward in your life. So if this finds you and you reach this, you better pay attention because there's no coincidence here. This universe is not working coincidence. It works in alignment, all right? So let's begin. Let's go into our lecture today. And the question is, hello Mark. Since learning from you that our world and our universe is a simulation, how can I hack the universe and manifest what I want? All right. The key point from this viewer here is they they learned that the universe is a simulation. That's very very important. Did you know that? What is a simulation? Well, I I wouldn't. Well, a simulation. But I would lo love to put it as a holographic projection, like a hologram. When you see a hologram, it looks real from the outside. And let's put some holographic entities in the hologram. If they're in the hologram, they have no idea they're in a hologram. They think they're just as real as you. If they could look out and see you, they would look at you crazy like, what are you looking at me for? I'm real. I can see myself. I can touch myself. In a hologram, the systems in the hologram, they are stored with information. And information gives the hologram consciousness, awareness. And when information gives consciousness and rise to awareness, the holographic people, the holographic beings in the hologram, you cannot tell them that they're not real. So that's a hologram. The only way you can tell the hologram that they're not real is if you show them evidence outside and say, look, you can't be real. Now that could, that is very empowering because if you're in a hologram and you think it's real, then you have limitations. If you think it's a, if you think think it's a simulation, it's like a video game. You're free, man. You can go ahead and just do your thing, manifest what you want. So, question they uh, ask me is, how can I hack the universe or the hologram to get what I want? So there's a lot of ways you can hack the hologram or the the simulation, and I'm sure plenty of you know the ways. What I want to talk about one specific way and this is what I do a lot of so all of you here joining I would love for you to chime in here go ahead tell me uh, what are some of the ways that you are cracking or hacking the hologram to get what you want to manifest what you want for all of you manifest stuff um, how do you what are your techniques what are you doing to crack the hologram, hack it so you can get what you want. Then I'm going to reveal to you my number one technique to hack the hologram and get what you want. So what are some things that you're doing? So what we got here, just go with the flow, self-discipline. Okay, what are the actions? Oh, someone, someone, someone already says, someone said or mentioned my most powerful hack. So I gotta wait. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call your name now because I don't want you guys to pick it up so fast. But it's in the comments. That's good. So someone already got the most powerful technique to hack the hologram. So we got believe and feel what you want. Okay, subliminals. Very good. Yes, yeah, subliminals. Action. But hey, guys, where's the um? I don't see visualization in here. I mean, that's a that's a powerful thing to hack the hologram, man. To hack the matrix. Subliminals, yeah, subliminals are very powerful too. So I, I see two powerful things you can use to hack the hologram. Act as if, definitely, you can hack. You hack the hologram, but you act as if. All right. So let's talk about the most powerful technique that you can use 
to hack the hologram. And I will guarantee you. Ever hear saying, I guarantee. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I guarantee that when I talk about this, and many of you have been using it, but I'm going to spin it from a different perspective, or maybe many of you may not have been using it. But I'll show you how it works, why it works, and evidence of it working. So, we know about affirmations. That's a very powerful way to hack the hologram. Affirmations. Wrong. Do not use affirmations. Stop affirmations. Please don't crucify me. Because I know a lot of the teachers and everyone is talking about how, how very high on affirmations. Everyone's high on affirmations. But I want to ask you a question. You go ahead and comment below. How long have you been doing your affirmations and you haven't seen any results? Go ahead. If you're doing affirmations and you manifest everything you want, tell me, Mark. Hey, Mark, I've been doing affirmations. I got everything I want. So how many people have been using affirmations? There we go. Someone says, six months, no results. Okay. No comments. <laughs> Why? Why are we pushing affirmations then, man? Six months affirmations, no progress. I, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a calculated. I'm gonna do an educated guess right now. And I'm gonna say about over 50% of spiritual enlightened beings like yourself, or fi over 50% of individuals that use affirmations. They don't get the results they want. Would you agree with me? Right? Would you say over half people that use affirmations don't get what they want? Sure, affirmations can make you feel good. That's pretty good. But you still don't get what you want. So I'm going to teach you. I'm going to open up your brain. I'm going to enlighten you. I'm going to show you how your mind and brain works. And I'm going to reveal to you what you should do instead of affirmation because it's, it is the most powerful way to hack the universe. I do it to win the lottery a lot and someone says it. The key is, okay, y'all get you got it. Instead of affirmations, you want to do ask formations. You want to turn affirmations into questions. Like you're asking a question. Okay, let me show you what happens. First of all, let's talk about why your affirmations do not work. If someone says they've been doing it for six months and they're not going to get any results, let me show you why it doesn't work. So, here's why it doesn't work. All right. Your brain has two levels of, um, I'm going to put it too simple. So, your brain has two levels to gather information, okay? So, the conscious mind will take information and if it agrees with it, it sends it to the subconscious mind. Once the conscious mind picks something and says, okay, this is true, this is probable, I'll let this slide. Once it goes to your subconscious, the subconscious makes it happen. So, yes, that's correct. Your brain has two levels when it comes to processing information. That's processing information, my friend. Your brain has many other levels, but we're speaking specifically about affirmations so pay attention okay so what happens here now so when you say an affirmation and you say to yourself I am so wealthy I am so successful I am so happy the processing unit of the conscious mind now takes that statement and guess what it does it stays in the conscious mind it never goes to the subconscious mind. Remember, hacking the matrix, hacking the multiverse, it's a subconscious mind that does the work. So that's why when you say your affirmations and you do them for months, nothing's gonna happen because it's your conscious mind that is trying to make your affirmations become reality. But the problem with the conscious mind is it's so limited and this most of the time you don't it doesn't work because it cannot get you what you want okay you learned the first important lesson now here's what I here's what you do now okay 
This is what you do now. Now, instead of you are saying, I am so wealthy, here's what you do. You put, why am I so wealthy? Oh, I have to put a keynote into this. Key, very important keynote, guys. Very important keynote. Ask formations works only when you speak it out aloud. Ask formations do not work if you speak it in your head. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay? This is the most. I'm, someone asked me this question because many of you just joined us live. What is the most powerful way to hack the matrix, hack the universe into a simulation? And this is what I'm showing. We talked about visualization, all that stuff, but we're going into this one. Okay? So someone asked me, why would that matter? Okay, that's a great question. So here's why it matters. Let's go back to the processing system of the mind. Okay? So it's, you say, I am so wealthy. But then you say, why am I so wealthy? Here's what happens now. Immediately, when you say, why am I so wealthy? The subconscious mind turns on. The subconscious mind is a question and answer generator. It's a prover mind. Its primary design, its primary function is to eavesdrop on what you're saying as form of a command. What is a form of a command? A question. When you ask a question, what do you normally expect to get? Correct, uh, Selena. You're supposed to get an answer. So your subconscious is looking for answer. But when you say, I am so wealthy, there is nothing happening. The conscious mind is just holding it. And trying to figure out how am I going to get this guy wealthy. And then you get six months, one year, nothing happens. But when you ask a question, the conscious mind have to pass the question to the subconscious automatically. Have to. Have to, have to. So once the subconscious gets a question, it turns on and says, I have to prove this question as an answer to this guy. Voila. Genius. So now... If you get up every day and you have five bucks in your bank account, five dollars in your bank account, and every day you get up and about three times a day you're saying to yourself out loud, why am I so wealthy? Why do I have a thousand dollars in my bank account? Why do I have ten thousand dollars in my bank account? How would it make me feel to have a thousand dollars in my bank account? And you repeat that. What's going to happen is you now hack the simulation. The subconscious now says, we have $1,000 in our bank account, even though you only have five bucks. Now, keep in mind, okay? In the subconscious world, you have $1,000 in your bank, but you say to yourself, well, Mark, I don't live in a subconscious. I live in a physical world. My bank, my account says five bucks, bro. So let me show us what happens next now, okay? So once you say that repeatedly, the subconscious now already sees 1,000. So you can't see beyond the physical five senses so in the invisible or the non-physical there are things churning and happening so what your subconscious is doing in the meantime it's out there seeking looking to find the best way possible for you to get one thousand dollars into your bank account and guess what the subconscious is undefeated when it comes to manifesting did you know that by the way your subconscious is a trillion and oh it never lost a game it's never been, it's not, you can't beat it. So I just want to let you know that, right? Uh, did you, are you aware of that? Listen again, it's undefeated. It's never lost. It gives you what you don't want, and it gives you what you do want. Either way, you can't lose. Keep that in mind. So, if you're saying I'm going to get $1,000, come on now, come on. I just told, someone just asked me, how do I manifest 1000 I just said it. So go, could somebody comment and help Julia to understand what I just said. I just told you how to manifest $1,000. Okay, let me repeat it again. Why do I have $1,000 in my bank account? How does it make me feel to get $1,000 in my bank account? What would my life look like with $1,000 in my bank account? All right, I'll give you a pass. You wasn't here. Okay, you get a pass. You get a pass. All right. So the subconscious now, it has something that the conscious mind does not have. It has access to infinity. We call it yado years. We call it quintillion years. We call it beyond, beyond. It has access to infinity. 
your conscious mind has access to finite to limited so if you have access to infinity what do you think is going to happen hey bird that's right you will have one thousand dollars in your bank account before you know it it'll come to you in the most amazing way it'll, and it will come to you in a way that you could never imagine until it comes in then you imagine it then you'll say to yourself man I just got a thousand dollars but I never thought it would come that way that's the way to manifest that is the most powerful way you're going to hack the matrix you go you can go five thousand you can go ten thousand based on what you believe in yourself now you can go twenty thousand as long as you're consistent and your repetition and you do it at least three times a day throughout you know three times during the day you're good to go and then what happens is the unconscious now will start to send it in and then your conscious mind catches it but by that time it's too late your conscious mind is, can't take credit now it, it can only perceive what just happened he will still try to take credit it will say man you know what I thought about that but I didn't that's what it's gonna tell you so yeah I thought about that but I didn't think we could do it no you don't say you don't yeah you don't say so why does it feel great you say why does it feel so great to have 5k in my bank account so guys affirmations are what you guys should be doing right now there's no more affirmations they just don't work if they did work, all of you guys here would have been commenting, and, and I've been doing this for a couple, few years now. I've been showing you this stuff, and I have not seen anybody saying to me, "Hey, man, I've been doing my affirmations." Okay, you'll get a fluke here and then. You get some. Your conscious mind will lock up and create something like that, but it's still limited. But I don't see anybody here talking about, "Yeah, man, my affirmation, my affirmations, man. I've been getting everything I want." I don't. I don't see that. And it's. it's I, and the reason I, you won't see that is just again how your mind is working, man. You, you know, you you cannot defy the laws of the universe. How the mind works, you're not going to change the mind how it works. The mind's still going to work the way you want to work. You make you feel good, but feeling good is not going to get you what you want. Eventually, right? Feeling good does help to get you what you want, but you got to do it in a specific or certain way to do it. So. That's the power of affirmations. By the way, I did not invent ask for ask formations. Okay, ask formations was invented by a guy. I think his name was Noah Saint John. Noah Saint something. So he's been out there for a long time. So I didn't create ask formations. Just just so don't don't give Mark credit. If I didn't invent it. There was nothing. Nothing's new under the sun. What I did was I saw it. I observed it. I downloaded it, and new information came to me on how to effectively use it. That's it. Okay. So, it is a very powerful way because it does one thing. It elicits your subconscious to take action. When your subconscious takes action, that's when you're going to get results. We got someone here that says, oh, it's all BS. That has to be an NPC. It's all BS because definitely he doesn't know what he's doing so that's why it's going to be BS for and again your subconscious never does never lose undefeated my proof right there is BS for this person because he's getting what he doesn't want see how I prove to you that your subconscious is undefeated ha ha okay someone says you have to believe what you're saying I have shocker news for you I have shock I have more even more amazing news for you I have better I have something that's going to shock you what makes ask formation so brilliant is you don't even have to believe it first. <laughs> first of all, do you know what a belief is? How beliefs are formed? Does anyone know how a belief is formed? That's right. You could have $5 in your bank account and you can say every day, why do I have $20,000 in my bank account? And you don't even believe it. Man, Mark, you got to explain that one to me. You got me, my, my mind is blown right now, man. 
you're telling me I can do this and I don't believe it? What the heck's going on here, man? So what, what's up with this? Is exclamation is like all in one tool, everything? Yes. But first, I have to know, do you guys know how beliefs are made? How do you form beliefs? Because it's important for you to understand how a belief is formed before I give you the answer of why. Okay. So does anyone know? How do, how do we make beliefs? What is a belief? All right, so let me teach you again. All right, all a belief is, guys, is a repetition of a certain thought or phrase. That's what a belief, a belief is formed when you say something over and over again. I'll give you an example. If you wanna have $20,000 in your bank account, or whatever, just give me an example. And you only have five dollars. You automatically believe you can't get twenty thousand, right? Because you only have five. So your belief is I have five dollars. But here's what happens now. If you use your affirmation and you say, Why do I have twenty thousand dollars in my bank account? Here's what's gonna happen. You're first gonna get a rejection from your conscious mind. Because your conscious mind is gonna tell you, stop, you don't have twenty thousand dollars in your bank account. If you stop, you will not get twenty thousand dollars in your bank account. However, if you ignore your conscious mind and you keep saying, why do I have $20,000 in my bank account? And you repeat this at least three times a day for a period of time, what's going to happen now? You are now building a belief because it's the subconscious that is the illogical mind that when you say, why do I have $20,000? And you keep repeating it. Not, you don't have to do this 20 times a day, so please don't do this at least three times a day and you do it for a period of time. A period of time would, would be at least uh, two weeks to one month. You will build a new belief now that your subconscious mind will believe you are capable and you do have $20,000 in your bank account. Now what happens from that time forward now, it is going to find and seek the ways for you to have the physical $20,000 in your bank account. That may be in a couple weeks, a month. That could be in four or five months. But it works. Because time doesn't exist in the unconscious mind. So even if you don't believe what you want and you use it as an affirmation and you repeat it, it will build and it will become a belief for you. Your subconscious will adopt it. And then how do you know when your belief is true or is formed? How do you know that the subconscious has accepted that belief? Can anyone ask, answer that question? So how do you know when the subconscious says, all right, man, Boom, I got this. This is my new belief. How do you know that? It, you will, there is a, it tells you when you have it. How do you know? By how you feel. Your feelings will tell you when you have accepted a new belief. So for example, you're gonna go back to when you first started. I'm just gonna use an example, the money thing. We're gonna go back to when you first started to when you build the belief. So remember this, when you first started, right? You only have five bucks in your bank account. And you keep saying, why do I have $20,000? Remember that feeling. That first feeling is going to feel resistance. You're going to feel like it's not true. You're going to feel like you're lying to yourself. You're going to feel anxious. That's the feeling that the mind hasn't accepted it. Remember that feeling. Now, you're doing this now for about two, three weeks to one month now. Go back to remember that feeling to the current feeling. It's totally different. The feeling now, you're not going to feel anxious. You're not going to feel like it's not true. What you're going to feel now, you're going to feel like it's normal. Like, hey, this is possible. That's the feeling you're going to get. You say, man, you know what? For some reason, I don't know how, but I'm starting to believe that I'm going to have $20,000. Congratulations. Let's clap. Boom, 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 boom. See, I want to clap, but my, my phone keeps moving here. Let me get my phone up here. So I can, I can clap. Okay. Boom. Congratulations. You have now formed a new belief. And the beauty with a belief is, once you ha once it's there, it sticks in there. It ain't going nowhere. And then, it's going to transform your habit and action. You're going to start to go and attract money and situations because now the belief is running the program. To all through just using the ask formations. Do you see how that works? That is very powerful. 
So, if you're using affirmations, you're wasting your time. You have to use ask affirmations. Now, the question I ask you is, okay, Mark, why do I have to say this stuff out loud? Why can't I say my ask affirmations in my head? So, I'm going to throw that question to you. Why? What's the difference of speaking it externally and internally? Well, it's the same thing, Mark. It's the same question. So, I mean, you said if it's going to work, it's going to work. So, what's the problem if I say it out loud or in my head? I mean, it's the same thing, correct? Da, da, da. Actually, it's not. It's very crucial. Very important. Yeah, it's the ego. But what about the ego? How can the ego stop my affirmations from working if I say it in my head? Why do I need to say it in out, out my outer voice for it to work instead of my head voice? It's the same thing, right? Power of the tongue. Yeah, why, why should I say, why should I talk it out loud so people can look at me like I'm a crazy person? Why can't I just say it in my head? By the way, you shouldn't care what people say, think of you because they don't, they don't, they don't even know this stuff anyway. So they're, they're the ones that's actually crazy. You're the one that's the sane one when you're doing this. That's just another product of the matrix. All right. So, all right. So here's here's why it works. Okay. Here's here's okay. Listen. So, if you say it inside your head, the voice inside your head is known as your ego. So when you say it inside your head, your ego takes it, takes that, and holds that because it controls all voices in your head. So when it holds it, the subconscious mind cannot receive it. However, when you say it out loud, your ego still hears it, but because it's out loud in your outer voice, the subconscious now also hears it and overrides your ego. Your subconscious will always override your ego when you use a question form out loud. And the reason is because it is designed to prove and take action and answer stuff. So when it hears the power of your vocal cords, it it turns on to go work it says activated what do you want me to do it's like the genie in the lamp you rub it, it says okay master I'm here you've summoned me what should I bring to you that's why you say it with your outer voice instead of your inner voice your inner voice has been corrupted by your conscious mind because it uses that voice a lot think about it all those negative thoughts you have in your head they're predominantly an inner voice they're your ego voice so very rarely you have a positive voice in your head that's your higher self when you have something positive coming in. But your ego loves to take up space. It loves to be the attention of the party. So it's going to snug out or snub out all the positive reinforcement thoughts that are going to come. It's going to snub it out, man. Because it likes, that's what your ego does. Ego loves attention. Ego is the, ego tries to be the man or the woman. So whenever you're, you're speaking things out loud, you are now bypassing that part of the mind that will give you resistance. You don't have to ask the three ways, but I'm just giving you different alternatives to ask. You can just go, why am I? But I just, I love to switch it up. It's always good to switch things up. Right? So, now, do you guys understand the power of the hack in the, in the multiverse? It's the ask formations. Once you start, to power of the affirmations, then you hack the matrix, and then all the things will start to gravitate and come towards you to manifest. That's it. That's today's lesson. It's very simple. Go do it, and you'll see results. See you guys again next time.